What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. In this video, I'm talking about how to encapsulate your silver coins and silver bars, and I'm also gonna teach you a couple tricks along the way. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you wanna learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just wanna watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then subscribe to my channel. In this video, we're gonna encapsulate some coins and some bars here. Uh, technically, these are actually all coins because these are silver coin bars. Uh, but and I wanna give you a couple tips about encapsulating your silver while we sort of talk about this. So the first thing I wanna mention is, um, I did recently get this silver coin in the mail from Atmex. It's the Lion King, uh, looks like 25th anniversary at the bottom. Uh, so really cool coin. The whole reason uh, I actually brought out my capsules was because I needed to put this one in a capsule to match the rest of my Disney coins. Uh, so I do want to say if you're encapsulating silver coins, you shouldn't encapsulate bullion coins ever. There is no reason to encapsulate bullion coins if you're stacking silver, if you're trying to buy silver low. When the price is low, wait, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, whatever. Use it as a hedge against inflation or wait for the price to spike up and sell it sort of as like a flip or something like that. If you're stacking bullion, do not encapsulate your coins or bars. There's literally no point to doing that. You're going to have to pay an extra premium for these capsules and you're never going to get that premium back when you go to sell. So no point in doing that at all. When should you encapsulate your silver coins or your silver bars? Well, you should do it if you're buying them for a collection. If you like a certain piece and you just want to buy it and keep it for your own personal collection, uh, because you like the beauty of it or whatever, then absolutely you can put them in capsules. Um, you know, you could put your bullion in capsules just for me. I think there's literally no point to doing that because you're literally essentially paying extra for your silver to have to put it in a capsule. And if you're just trying to stack, you obviously don't want to pay extra. So this is just for coin collecting or bar collecting, whatever you want to call it. These are really cool bars. This is the 2018 Dragon Coin Bar from Perth Mint in Australia. Love that one. And then we have the 2019 here as well. So really, really cool ones. Uh, there's the 2019 on the bottom there. Okay. So first off, uh, which kinds are the best ones to buy? Well, you can either buy the air tights that have no ring around them. Uh, so one would be similar to this. You can see it's just a regular air tight. There's no color around the outside. It's just clear all the way around. So these are very cool, very popular. These would just be considered airtight capsules. Uh, a lot of people like the look of these. These are you know, if you get them from the mint and they're already in a capsule, 99% of the time, it'll always be a clear airtight capsule like this. So one mistake that I made in the past was I actually took them out of these capsules and I put them in different capsules. Uh, so let me show you when I did that too. I got a Chinese silver panda here. Uh, this one came in a capsule from the mint like this and I took it out and I put it in the black green capsule. Now the reason I did that was because I like the look of the black green capsules better. I think it makes a silver pop. It really does. And again, if you're just doing it for a collection, then you can get whichever ones you want. But looking back on it, I think I probably should have left this one in the mint capsule like this because it's already in a free capsule. Why are you gonna put it in a new one? <laughs> but you know, like I said, if it's just for a collection, who cares, do whatever you want. So this is considered a black green capsule. You can get these in white, red, whatever color you want. I personally like the black ones the best. So let's put a couple of these. Well, actually, let's just put them all in capsules and we'll talk about sizes. So first off, we're gonna do the bars. Now, with these bars, these are probably a little bit smaller than traditional one ounce bars. I'm not really sure why they decided on this size, but if you're getting capsules for your bars, you really need to look at the size of the capsule. The ones that I have are a little bit bigger than these. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to put them in them anyway, just so that I can touch them with my hands and uh, not have to worry about that. So all you do to put it in a capsule, literally, you just set it in there. This is an airtight capsule. It'll take the top, put it on top, and squeeze it down. There you go. Now it's in the capsule. It's encapsulated. 
So now I can touch this with my bare hands, not worry about getting anything on the actual bar. Uh, you're not gonna worry about any sort of crazy toning that could come from like oils in your fingers or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's literally why you would put these in a capsule. You wanna keep them in good, pristine condition for as long as possible uh, because you know it's a collection, you want them to look good. Uh, like I said, this capsule is a little bit too big for this bar, but that's okay. It actually doesn't really slide around at all because it's not uh, as thick as the bar is. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Like the plastic is actually touching the top and the bottom, so it's not sliding around. So I'm going to use these for my bars uh, because those are the ones I have. Uh, I bought the, uh, let's see, one ounce bar direct fit uh, airtight brand capsule holders. I got these off of Amazon. If you want a link to these, I'll put it in the description. In fact, I'll put links to all the capsules in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Because for the coins, we're going to talk about different sizes. Uh, but like I said, for bars, you definitely need to um, figure out what size your bars are and then buy the correct capsules. Uh, one tip I do want to say is that if you touch these fields with your cotton gloves, it's possible to get micro scratches in your coins or bars. So really try and hold them by the edges. This is considered the edge. So try not to hold them in the fields because you don't really want to uh, get those tiny little scratches in there. I mean, you probably won't really be able to notice them, but uh, you know, if you want to keep them in the best shape possible, then I would recommend doing your best to not touch them. So there we go. And of course, if you ever went to send them in for grading or whatever, and they had micro scratches, it would prevent you from getting a perfect grade. So that's just something to consider. So, okay, we got the bars in there, no problem. You can see how easy that was. You literally just snap them in there. So boom, we got our two bars encapsulated. Now let's talk about the coins. So I got a couple different sizes here, and I did this on purpose so we could show you the different sizes. And there's a, a trick to putting these in. Uh, so let me get my knife out. Okay, got my knife. Now, when you buy them, uh, they'll come, let's see, here, I'll show you. They come in a pack like this. This is a pack of 25. This is a 40 millimeter. And uh, they, they will actually have, some of them will have the little black foam on the inside. You can see these ones, some of them don't. Uh, so I guess these 40 millimeter ones don't. Some of them do, like this one here. This is actually a um, 38 millimeter. I would recommend getting the 38 millimeter uh, and the 40 millimeter because those are the most common sizes for coins. Okay, so I just used my knife to sort of pop out that centerpiece because we don't need that. There we go. And uh, so let's look at the different sizes here. So I have two and these are actually exactly the same size as far as the plastic, but the black ring, the foam is smaller on the one on the left. It's kind of hard to see because of the focus. Let's see if I can get to focus here. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. So you can see the one on the right is a little bit thinner than the one on the left. So there you go. So this one on the right is the 40 millimeter. This one's the 38. Uh, American Silver Eagles are 40 millimeter and uh, a lot of other countries' coins are 40 millimeter. Some of them are 38. Some are even 36. So you might have to get really small ones for the uh, 36 millimeters. So here's the trick on getting these in here. And uh, Silver Wolverine taught me this trick. So shout out to Silver, Silver Wolverine. If you haven't seen his channel yet, definitely check him out. Uh, so instead of just trying to shove the coin in there, what you can do is take this little black piece of foam out and you can put it around the coin like so. So we have it uh, now centered in the little black foam. This is like just squishy foam. And then you just put the whole thing in the capsule. Oh, I totally botched that one. Let me try this again. It works better if it uh, if it's like kind of tight around it. This one is like maybe 39 millimeters, so it's a little bit loose on there, but we'll try this again. We'll see if we can get that in there. There we go, that's pretty good. So we can see we have the coin in there now with the black foam all around it. Looking awesome. And then you just put the top on. You literally just sandwich it on top and smash it down. There you go. All right, so that's in there now. So now we got our Lion King coin all encapsulated, looking fine. We can touch it with our bare hands, not have to worry about anything. So boom, awesome. And then, uh, like I said, there is another way to do it. This is the uh, Double Dragon from New Way. Pretty cool coin, I've got a couple of these. The other way is you just like literally just sort of smash it in there. Actually, that one wasn't too bad. 
So I guess it depends on the size of the coin and your, your capsule or whatever, but yeah, that one worked fine. So, and then we'll just put the top on. Boom. There you go. So try out both ways, see which way works better for you. If it's easier for you just to smash it in there or to actually take the black ring out and put it around the coin and then put it in. Both have worked well for me in the past. So there you go. Those are basically the two ways to do it. And then you got the queen on this side, all milk spotted and looking terrible. <laughs> but I don't really care about that side. I like the double dragon side and this side is actually looking pretty good. So why not throw that one in a capsule? Okay, so there you go. So we have the uh, one ounce bars and capsules. Now you can get capsules for any size bars. You can get 10 ounce bar capsules, whatever. Uh, you know, in any size coin, you can get really small capsules for small coins. Uh, like I said, this is a 40 millimeter, this is a 38. The 38 millimeter is probably one of the most common sizes. So I would highly recommend getting a bunch of 38s and uh, probably a pack of 40s as well, just so you can get, you know, your various different sizes in. I like the black ring capsules the best. Those are my favorite. And you can get high relief ones as well. I have a pack of the uh, 38 millimeter black ring high relief. These are for the Queen's Beast. So the Queen's Beast are two ounces. You can see that here at the bottom, two ounce Queen's Beast. So if you wanna get capsules for your Queen's Beast, you'll have to get the high relief ones. I'll put a link to these in the description below if you wanna check those out for yourself. So anyway, I hope I was able to help teach you about the different uh, capsules you can buy. You can get the clear ones, black ring, any color you want. You know, if you're collecting coins, then I would encourage you to put them in capsules to keep them, uh, you know, spoil free for as long as possible. And I think it's just a good way to present your silver. Um, so yeah, there's the video. Uh, definitely drop a comment if you have anything you'd like to add, or if you have any uh, just comments in general, I try to reply to all of the comments. I do wanna say massive thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.